Samsung is recognized for introducing high-level shows inside the enterprise with its flagship smartphones. A new report for smartphone display brightness and the most national color displays has been released by the business enterprise units. According to the reports the Galaxy S23 will spoil information about display brightness. The new upcoming flagship smartphone will reportedly with an E6 Excellent AMOLED LTPO 3.0 display, with a top brightness of 2200 merits. South Korean company is light was stated to have improved PWM dimming of close to 2200 Hz, to have improved PWM dimming of close to 2000 Hz, barely less than the BOE Q9 display with a PWM dimming of 2160 Hz, this should reduce eye strain by a fair margin. Even as Samsung is rumored to be limited to a 120 Hz refresh rate, for its upcoming Galaxy S line smartphones, the corporation could carry a major potent display. The phones are said to have the most powerful glass screens of any Android phone release in the first quarter of 2023. They may feature a more modern model of the Gorilla Glass with the better protection than Apple's Fire Glass. Now thanks to the Golden Reviewer, we have the latest GPU benchmark scores taking a look we can see that. The Demo City 1200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 are actually pretty ahead compared to the Apple's S16. Surprisingly not only the Qualcomm but MediaTek is also looking powerful enough. Now we have also started to see pretty stable Geekbench 5 results of the Snapdragon 8 and 2 chip. And honestly these scores just keep on getting higher and higher. This is Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on Xiaomi Mi 13 which scores up to 5343 multi-core. And comparing it with the iPhone 14 from Max, this is extremely close to the Apple A16. It looks like Qualcomm is almost there on Apple A16 level when it comes to the CPU performance, but for the GPU they actually have an edge over the Apple by a quiet margin. According to the news the smartphone is rumored to have the same 6.8 inches display, 5000 mAh battery, UFS 4.0 massive storage, a super new 200 megapixel main camera sensor powered by the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset and may feature a new front-facing camera, there is also chance that it will be more expensive than the Galaxy S22 Ultra Mortal. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.